Hey guys, it's madmat one kid here with another episode of Mad Matt's Minecraft Hardcore. Uh, today, for a video, um, I'm going to be doing a uh, request that somebody requested to me. The person who requested it is my little brother, and he wants to know how to make a certain thing. So I'm going to try and show him, and I'm like, where are my mushrooms? And I realize I have some in my inventory, because I haven't been on in a while. Um, I do need to hit the drops. So, um, the question that he was asking me was, how do you make a mushroom house? Um, and I decided that it'd be easier to, uh, demonstrate. And also, um, you know, a bit of good practice. And, uh, um, I don't know. Could be useful. You know, you have a couple torches on you, and you running around and it's starting to get dark and you're all like oh no I need a place to sleep and then suddenly BAM mushroom house so um <laughs> let's see here uh, I should grab some torches as well I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna drop off some stuff okay so um I think I'm gonna go over this way Oh look, it's a skelling man. Die! Glorious, glorious experience points. Okay. We're also going to have to experiment. Oh look, it's a little NPC house. It's out here in the middle of nowhere. And there's zombies somewhere. It'd be interesting if he had spawned in the house. But, uh, I need to keep my eyes out. Um, so we're gonna do it here. So what you do, is you plop down a mushroom, and then when you drench it with some bone meal, it forms a tree thing. A big mushroom tree. And there goes my axe, which is kind of annoying. I mean, this stuff's not bad, it's just nicer to have an axe. So. Break these real quick. As you can see, uh, I believe I had nine mushrooms on me when I started this venture. Uh, and now I have. Um, 18? 19? 20? 21. 21 mushrooms. So that's plus 12, and I still don't even have all of that, which I can get by getting on here. So I'm not sure of all the growing conditions that mushrooms require. All I know is that if you do have a good enough supply of bone meal and mushrooms of both colors, this is a very, very tasty way to survive uh, in uh, Minecraft hardcore type modes. So I'm going to throw that down. I'm also going to throw some light, because if it works like it's supposed to, it's going to get dark in here. Um, so I looked at it, and looked like there's two blocks of clearance. So we'll set that there and go, boop. Oh, uh, and it's not liking it. Okay. Uh, apparently, it doesn't like being that far down. There's all these weird rules as to how um, things can grow. And apparently... Oh, there might be too much light. No, that shouldn't be a problem. Hmm. Okay, apparently you can't have it be... Apparently you need to have a bunch of space around. So, you will have to fill this area here in. There he is. There's an Enderman out there who's after me. Um... How many is this? Three? One, two, three. Um, and then it is uh, five across. However, I think I might have a solution to fix it. Uh, what you need to do is you need to, um, you know, this does not make it faster. But it does give you a mushroom house, which, you know, looks cool. Uh, what you'll need is a shovel, because this is taking too long. Which means I need a tree. Because I need to come over here and break a tree. Mm. 
too much work for tutorial. Hmm. <laughs> I haven't done one of these for a while. I've been kind of. Oh, look at all this wood that I had on me. That would have been useful. Right. Um. Okay, real basic wooden shovel. Now we're running back over to our pit. And what we need to do is we need to make this pit a 5x5 uh, five five pit. And I actually don't know if this will work. But I'm hoping. And we're going to make it three deep. I honestly expect to get ambushed by monsters while working on this. This is why I made two wooden shovels. Okay, that should be good. Need to find the center, which is in here. Is it here? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And grow. And depending on how conditions work, there's still not enough room. Dang it. Okay. In that case, only way you're going to be able to get a mushroom house until I do more research is to grow yourself a mushroom on flat ground and then add a house to it. So, if you give me just a second, you know, this looks pretty simple. So, uh, I will let you guys... Um, you know, you guys like smart enough as I go and use the magic phrase of sh Zam, okay, yep, we're back, good. Uh, so this is what I ended up doing. I, you know, filled in around here with dirt uh, as daylight progresses and stuff, uh, you know, to make it look more like just a mushroom hut. Uh, the um, <laughs> grass is going to start crawling up here and, you know, throw extra dirt around to make it look like a hill. Like, kind of like a hobbit's hole, I guess, would be good. Um, in here, uh, if you want to dig down, I did, uh, you know, just add some dirt on top so it would be right up to the level. You know, you can throw yourself a bed in here. Um, I don't know of a good way to get two really close to each other because I don't know how to spread the red. Um, but... Uh, I did just get another idea real quick, so I shall probably have to go and look at that really quick. But this is, you know, how you would make a basic mushroom house. Uh, from what I can tell, um, not a, an amazing source of instant shelter. By the time you have the supplies to be able to just make one of these, um, which are mushrooms and uh, the other thing, bone meal, um, you probably uh, should have a much better shelter. Uh, already, uh, they do not seem to make good, uh, instant trip shelters, um, though they could do in a pinch, I guess, uh, if you had dirt supplies on you, um, to be able to just go, mushroom, twish, twish, but then you have to have a lot of supplies on you, um, so as a, you know, general, um, what's it called? It's general survival strategy, I would not recommend it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to come in here and um, probably just end this episode here pretty short. Uh, and I will get a second one as soon as I know what I'm doing. So, uh, this is Mamet One Cow on Hardcore. This is still World 2, even though it's been a while. I believe this is episode uh, 13 odd or so. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.